Yorkie pubs are like a great British institution. They're right up there with fish and chips and cups of tea, and next to the roast spuds they're the best part of any roast dinner. Although not the easiest things to perfect in the oven, the air fryer will give you the most wonderful inflated pillows of crispiness with just the right amount of breadiness inside for mopping up the gravy at the end of your Sunday roast. With my step-by-step -step guide, you can have perfect Yorkshire puddings on the table in less than 20 minutes. Before we get started, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps me out enormously. And if you want to be notified when a new video comes out, then hit the little bell icon too. Now, onto the Yorkshire puddings. We're going to start with 33 grams of plain flour. Now, if you haven't got scales, but you've got measuring spoons, this is about three level tablespoons plus two level teaspoons. Add a pinch of salt and we're also going to add one large egg. Now whisk this like fury and keep going until it's completely smooth. To this, add 75 ml of milk. For ease, I'm using five 15 ml tablespoons and then simply mix it all together. And that's it, the batter's made. This is ready to use straight away or you can put it in the fridge until you're ready to use it. Okay, here are my tins. These are more the traditional size for Yorkshire puddings and they have an external diameter of 11 centimeters and an internal diameter of nine centimeters. However, if you prefer smaller Yorkshire puddings, you could use three individual muffin tins instead. But just to let you know, I've tried both and larger, shallower tins always seem to work best. Using a cooking oil with a high smoke point, I'm using rapeseed oil here. Pour in enough oil just to cover the bottom of each tin. I'm putting two tins into a single drawer of my air fryer and I'm going to heat them up to 210 degrees Celsius, that's 410 degrees Fahrenheit, on the bake setting for eight minutes. If you've got a basic air fryer that doesn't have any other settings with lower fan speeds, you may want to lay a knife across the tins to stop them blowing around. Just remember to use an oven glove or tongs to remove the knives after. When the time is up, working as quick as you can, divide the batter between the two tins. It should sizzle as it hits the hot oil. Immediately close the drawer and set the temperature to 180 degrees Celsius, that's 355 degrees Fahrenheit, and bake for 16 minutes. Try and keep the drawer closed for the entire cooking time, but if you've got a basic air fryer and you're just using the regular air fry function, then check them at 15 minutes. And those look incredible. I've also discovered that they're so light you can eat several before dinner without ruining your appetite. <laughs> 